Now this is one of the basics of any halfway decent Cantonese restaurant. It's very dependent on the quality of the fish because it's terribly simple. And I've got all fancy pants and I've added some vegetable julienne, but normally what you will get is just ginger, maybe a little bit of garlic and chili, soy obviously, and sometimes some coriander. But the vegetable julienne, you may not have done this before, it's pretty simple stuff. And don't you dare waste any of these veggies. You know that I'm big on this waste not want not. So you put these aside, you can make a soup with those. When I say you need a little bit more with some potatoes and some other veggies and things like that. But the main thing with leeks is they need to be washed really well. So just watch me there, James. I'm just separating them a bit and making sure they're washed because they are growing in dirt. So you end up with a lot of dirt in them. So we only need that much and we're going to cut it into a julienne, which julienne is actually very fine strips, just like that. Now it's only one fish and we've got a lovely baby snapper. I've cut the head off because I find that I have a lot of friends who say, oh, I don't want the head on. But actually the real reason is so that it'll fit into the steamer because it's quite a big fish. Well, when I say it's a big fish, it's about 700 grams, which is, is fairly large, you know, for a baby fish. I actually cooked this actual dish with my favorite TV chef, Keith Floyd, many years ago. And Keith took over the ginger and garlic and things. And I think he put about 10 cloves of garlic and about 10 chilies in it. It tasted good, but I don't think every, it's for everyone's taste. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit simpler than that. He was fun, that man. I really enjoyed cooking with him. Now, the carrot, I've peeled it, and I'm just cutting it in thin slices. Now you could do that on a bench slicer if you like, you know, one of those fairly sharp ones. But I'm just doing it like this because I'm being lazy. I couldn't be bothered bringing my bench slicer out. And once again, nice and thin. I actually love steamed fish. You could do this with salmon or any other fish. But I love steamed fish because it's so simple and it, and it just gives some lovely flavours to the fish because it just brings out the beautiful freshness of the fish itself because you're not obscuring it much. Anyway, that's my story. Celery. Once again, just pretty simple. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. Once again, I'm just gonna slice it and a little bit of chili. But unlike me old mate Keith, not three tons. But just slice those and some garlic. Once again, sliced fairly finely. Look, if you're not really au fait with the, the fine slicing, what you can do is you can just grate it. You really can, you don't have to spend three hours. And the other thing can I suggest, if you're a bit of a novice to slicing chilies, you don't touch parts of your body after you've sliced your chilies. <laughs> I've taken the seeds out of these. I was talking about your eyes, guys. Oh dear. Right, now we just throw that together. And then we were just going to put it on top of this fish. As I said, a baby snapper. Just plenty of it. Because the julienne will cook down at the same time as your fish cooks. And to that we then add some good Japanese light soy. Don't use the dark Chinese one. It takes over a bit. And a good whack of that. Now what happens is you'll get the juices of the fish coming out. And they'll sort of form a dressing along with those lovely soy juices. And we put the lid on that. That'll take us, I would say, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and finish it off. Crackling dressing, bit of fun. All right, guys, now we're looking pretty good with this fish, and I'm just gonna put some coriander on top. A big amount too, because it, it'll shrink. I met somebody the other day who doesn't like coriander. It amazed me. I thought, how dare you? Because <laughs> we all know that I'm rather keen on it. Right, I'm just going to make this crackling dressing. First of all, two tablespoons of peanut oil. Now it has to be peanut, unless you're allergic to peanuts, and then of course you could use a vegetable, but it works better with peanut. So two tablespoons of peanut and two teaspoons of sesame. Because sesame can take over, as you know. It's a strong mother, so. Just be a bit careful with that. So two teaspoons sesame, two tablespoons peanut. And then we'll just lift this off. 
put that on the heat. Just have a look here and see how we're going. See, that's looking good. Now, of course, the thing is to get it out. I always take the fish out first. Just with a fish slice or something like that. Wipe up my plate. Just get any vegetables up onto top because that'll help to cook. This is a bit like milk. You watch it and it doesn't it doesn't boil. Here we go. It's just starting to smoke now. And you'll hear this. That's why it's called a crackling dressing. And I know it may sound you think to yourself, well, so what's he what's he doing that for? Well the reason is I'm actually making a dressing now. A dressing always has oil in it. So the combination of the soy and the oil, you will end up with an absolutely delightful Asian dressing. Right, let's start thinking about a nice glass of wine for that. And I think something like a Pinot Gris would be wonderful. And this one is from the Mornington Yabby Lake vineyard, top vineyard. So a glass of that with that. Now always be careful with your wine because chilies, you know, sometimes, you know, they can affect it. Now there's not a lot of chili there, so that's fine. But if you had a lot of chili in it, if you were doing a Floyd on me, you're having a lot of chili in a sweeter wine, you know, say a Riesling, a sweeter Riesling would be wonderful. All right, my favorite way of cooking baby fish, and I know you'll enjoy it. And it's so simple, guys. Just make sure that the fish is spotlessly fresh. <laughs>